Welcome back, everybody, to the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty on NCAA Football 14. We have a little Pac-12 reunion on the schedule today. It's the 11th game of the year, and Kalispell meets the UCLA Bruins. These teams weren't expecting to have the seasons they're having. The Kalispell Warhawks are 6-4 and, and just got back into the top 25 after erasing a 24-0 comeback last episode to get a win over Ole Miss. We've played so many close games this year, we are not really used to this kind of a season. And after Matt Reddick entered the game last week, and helps lead the team to this victory, he will get his first career start today. As the Warhawks continue their quest to finish the season strong, we're underway here in Los Angeles, and the Bruins will start at their 25-yard line. UCLA is only 2-8 entering this game. Quarterback Chris Nunez has 18 touchdowns on the season. He starts in the pistol and hands this off. It is Eric West on the carry and a gain of one. UCLA definitely not the same team that we saw years ago with Jesse Heikinen in the national championship game. This is Jermaine Franklin on the reception, a gain of 10. UCLA gets a new set of downs. Nunez throws the screen outside and Scott is taken down. That's DeHonte Jeffries on the stop. Third down Bruins. Nunez gets the signals from the sideline, and on third and six, downfield, Nunez is intercepted! It's Nick Robinson, cutting back toward the sideline and taken down! This is how you get to two and eight right here. Perfect throw, and what happens? It's dropped and then intercepted. Robinson collects another takeaway. He's been very good at that over the past season. And now Matt Reddick. It's official. His first career start is underway. And he runs up the middle and slides down safely. You'll see a lot of option here with Matt Reddick. That's part of what helped the offense a week ago. Reddick now first down. This is Jackson on the carry. And he'll get two. Jim Jackson needs 13 yards for 1,000. I think he'll get there. Sherrod Edwards, the motion man here on second down. Here's a spin from Reddick. Out in space, he flips it out. Here goes Edwards. Inside the 10. I don't think that's how they drew it up. But at this point, we're just happy to see things go our way. He's supposed to hand this off inside, given that look. But he says, no. What if I spin out two players instead? We'll pitch it later and get 33 yards. First and goal. And more motion now. And on the rollout. Reddick outside, he throws it to the end zone, and that falls incomplete, he missed. Still a couple chances here at an opening drive touchdown. Jackson's turn now, and he cuts inside, a gain of one. Third down, Warhawks. Lindsey to the slot on the right side. Reddick third and goal. Pressure in his face, he lost the football, and the Bruins are going to have it. Well, I talked about this is how you get the 2-8. This is how you get to six and four. You do a few things right and then blow it. This is the kind of drive where the Kalispell teams of old would just score easily and we'd be on to the next drive already. It's still scoreless instead. UCLA takes over. Nunez with time completes it. And May takes a hard hit at the end of a gain of seven. Stack in the box here. No safety help. Nunez downfield for Franklin. And that's the risk Kalispell is willing to take. They got aggressive. Franklin gets behind Ronnie Howard. And UCLA is on the move. On the edge of field goal range now. Nunez to scramble. And he's taken down. Marcus Jordan. I think he's played really nicely as of late. Third down now for the Bruins. And they'll set up the screen. This is Taylor on the outside. He gets a block and he has the first down. Inside the 15. Lorenzo Taylor, 26 yards. You can't give up that third down. Now it's first and 10. Nunez takes off inside the five and wrapped up at the three. Gain of seven. Made the motion, man. And Taylor gets the carry. He is in for the touchdown. UCLA scores first. Following a red zone takeaway. Kalispell. Cannot score first. I feel like we haven't done that much this season. 
Seven nothing. Here's quick pressure, and Reddick is not going to escape it. He just lost 14 yards. Good blitz from Jordan McIntyre. How about a third and long? Reddick on the rollout. Pretty good coverage. He does find Edwards, who cannot get to the marker. He gets 14. It's fourth down. Good start for the Bruins. A new set of downs. Good field position. And facing the pressure, Nunez up the middle. Cannot get away. He's sacked again by Marcus Jordan. We're seeing a pretty aggressive start here for the Kalispell defense. Second and 12. Carlson on the catch. And he picks up 10. Manageable third down now for UCLA. Nunez, 7 of 8. And from the empty set, he throws again. Wants to scramble, actually, and he's got the first down. And more as he breaks a tackle all the way to the 20. What a run. 30 yards for Chris Nunez. Bruins want to make a statement early. Empty again. Nunez completes it. Carlson sheds tackles, and he's in for the touchdown. 14-yard score and a 14-point lead. Kalispell, what is going on? We're just not seeing that week-to-week -week progress. Warhawks begin a new drive, and Reddick's hit down. Perfect option defense by the Bruins. 0 of 2 on third down. Crowd getting behind the defense. Reddick fires, and it's tipped and incomplete. There were two receivers and multiple defenders in the area. Another failed drive for Kalispell. First quarter in the books, and it's been all UCLA. Here's Nunez. That's knocked down. Nice to see the defense get a stop. Following a three and out, empty set to start this drive. Kalispell starts with a screen. Phoenix Chambers runs into Sherrod Edwards and only gets three. Kalispell's going to stay empty now, and Reddick runs right up the middle, and he's drilled after a gain of six. Third down. Two tight ends now in the game. They'll run this one. First down, Jim Jackson. And he is across midfield. Can Kalispell now get their first points? Play fake. And rolling outside. Reddick's got some room. Trying to turn the corner. And gets inside the 35 before he's taken down. Now once again we're having issues separating downfield. But this is what we're seeing across teams that we faced. So many good coverage ratings. And we haven't been able to figure anything out. This is Jackson now on the delay and a good pickup on first down. Lindsey slot right, it's third down. Pressure up the middle. Reddick heaves in desperation and that is caught. Drake Maddox. And that was just thrown up for grabs. Kalispell with a break that extends this drive. Now Merville in the game. Outside to the 10 and a first down pickup. It's goal to go. How can Kalispell finish this drive? Jackson gets the carry, and he's stuffed. Good defense there on second down. One more shot. Reddick changes the play. Jackson gets it, and he's in for the touchdown. Jackson with his 12th touchdown on the ground this year, and Kalispell now on the board, losing 14-7. to That is a step. At least they got something on that drive. Elliott read the deep safety here on first down. UCLA takes over. West finds an opening and delivers the stiff arm. He's close to another first down. UCLA getting back to their up-tempo approach. West gets it again, wanting to bounce it, and he's met. And driven back at the 34-yard line. Good stop. And it's third down, UCLA. Now Kenta deep safety, Nunez in trouble, heaves downfield, and got his man! It's a touchdown! Ronnie Howard lost track of the football, and this has been his big weakness over the course of his Kalispell career. He's in position more times than not, but locating the football has been a problem. UCLA gets the big score, it's 21-7. Warhawks now set to take over. A little over four to go in the first half. And here's DeHante Jeffries. He makes a man miss and gets outside, and there he goes again! DeHante Jeffries, what a season for the freshman! Back to a touchdown game. 
Not only did Jeffries get the touchdown, it looks like he has replaced Ronnie Howard at corner on this drive. And there's another sack now. That's Shannon Somerville. Let's see if the defense can get off the field now. Setting up the screen. Down goes Nunez. A quick hit. And that will bring out the punting team again. So Jeffries goes from the kick return touchdown to corner to punt returner in the matter of minutes. And here is DeHante Jeffries. He wants to make his move toward the sideline and runs out of room. And he's down. Jeffries still down after the hit. He'll get some attention now on the sideline as Kalispell takes over. They set up a screen. Jim Jackson tries to spin his way forward and is stopped. Warhawks go to the bunch here on second down. And Reddick fakes. He rolls out to his left. Reddick fires and is nearly intercepted. And now Reddick's down. So Jeffries has exited the game. We have an update. Strain pectoral. We may not see him again for a little while in this one. And now with Reddick out, Luke Irvin is back in the game. Luke Irvin, third down. Pressure forces him outside. Out of space. Got to throw it. And it's nearly picked. UCLA gets the stop with more tremendous coverage. And now we got the update for Reddick. Back spasms. We'll see if he comes back and if he's in for the next drive. UCLA up by seven. They start with a run. West gets nothing. That's Shannon Somerville again. Two minutes until the break now. Second down and long. Chris Nunez wide open. Caught by May. And that sets up a new set of downs right near midfield. UCLA trying to make this a two-score game again. Draw play. Here goes West on the carry. Spinning forward. Close to the 41. Third down, UCLA trips left for Chris Nunez. And he takes off with it. Nunez wrapped up. What a stop by Matt Armstrong. Kalispell only brought three because they knew this might happen. It's perfect spy defense and a great tackle too. But it looks like UCLA will attempt about a 57-yard field goal here to put them up 10. And he pushed it. Wide right. And Kalispell takes over with the short field. They have one timeout left. And Matt Reddick is indeed in the game. Playing through some back spasms here. He finds Jim Jackson in UCLA territory. Good pickup and it will stop the clock. Reddick playing through some pain as he did a week ago when he dislocated a finger. On first down for Edwards. He can't hang on to it. Incomplete. Chambers wide left, Lindsay and Edwards to the right. On second down, here's Reddick taking a shot toward Edwards, and it's intercepted. UCLA gets the takeaway, and Kalispell still down seven. Not much time here for the Bruins, and pressure sent at Nunez. Is that a safety? No, it's so close. That was Ronnie Howard on the blitz. Looks like Kalispell wants to sell out on this play. Can they get the safety? A fullback dive and a good one. And that may do it here in the first half. I was hoping a quarterback change would help the offense have a better week. And so far they have seven points against a two-win team. UCLA has defended the option all right. And there really hasn't been much of a passing game for Kalispell. So this game has turned into another struggle for our Warhawks. They have the football to start this second half. Down seven. Reddick throwing and it's tipped at the line. And Merville was wide open with a ton of space in front of him. Third down now. Rolling right off the fake. Reddick trying to get there and he comes up short. Fourth down. Disappointing start to the half for Kalispell. And now they fake it. It's Trey Dunn, and I think he got the yard necessary. There we go. New set of downs. First down, Kalispell. They'll try the screen again. Oh, what a hit on Edwards. The screens aren't working. The option's not working. We need new ideas. Second down with time. Ready? Go, oh, man, Chambers. UCLA has an answer for everything. 
Crowd getting behind the defense again. Third and nine against the pressure. Caught by Edwards on the outside. Big first down grab. But we got to make plays like that more regularly and not just here and there. Flip to Merville. This won't work either. They defend the option perfectly. And my hope today was that the option would be the difference maker for the offense. More pressure on the way. Reddick is hit and finds Phoenix Chambers. That in tight coverage. It's now third and three. Kalispell goes four wide. Josh Vincent in the game. And the quick throws hold in. Nick Lindsay. Top three wideouts all making key plays on this drive. And we continue on. Rolling. Reddick dumps for Maddox as he's hit at the 25 short pickup. Nick Lindsay not in the game here on third down. Reddick fakes, has time, and sends it to the end zone! And it's nearly picked, and then Vincent seemed to have a chance at it. Fourth down. Three on the board for Kalispell. They still trail by four. Nunez fakes the screen, airs it out in single coverage, and is intercepted again by Nick Robinson! Second takeaway of the day. Four interceptions now on the season as Kalispell's offense retakes the field. More play action here. Reddick on the rollout. Coverage is tight again. He throws it away. Two deep safety look for UCLA. Kalispell third and nine. They want the screen. Jackson needs some blocking and he won't get it. Very short pickup and a very short possession. Four and change to go here in the third quarter, UCLA football. Here's Chris Nunez, blitz is handled, he finds some room and is hit down. That's Allen Johnson, gain of three. Third down, UCLA, looking to pick up two. West gets the carry, oh, it's Elliott Red! Flying in to make the hit and the stop. We've seen some really tremendous play out of the defense. Offense still has some work to do as Merville runs right. That's a five-yard pickup. Lindsey slot right. Now Reddick to throw. Pressure's there quickly, and he throws it away as a flag comes in. Was he not outside the tackle box? Intentional grounding. Here's another look at it. It's very close. I think he was out, but it's third and 15. Four receivers again on the field. More pressure on the way as the pass is caught by Lindsey. Well shy of the marker, he couldn't stay in bounds. UCLA still holds their lead, 21-17. West motions out on first down. Nunez completes to Cleveland. Quinton Cleveland, a true freshman. This team does seem to have a lot of freshmen and sophomores in key spots. Nunez keeps on second down. He's got room and picks up the first across midfield. Two deep safeties, Kalispell in their 3-3-5 defense. Here is Eric West bouncing off contact and getting seven more. Another short third down for UCLA. They'll run for it. Nunez hit down! Kalispell ready for that one and we have another punt. Defenses are both playing really, really well right now. And here's Jim Jackson on the carry. Good start, gain of nine. Into the fourth quarter, trying to get this lead. Reddick check down. Merville, shy of the sticks. Fourth down again. Kalispell running out of time here, especially as they give UCLA good field position again. Nunez takes off. He's trying to get outside and is hit and wrapped up near the sideline. Again, third down forced by the Warhawk defense. Third and six. Nunez bounces off the first defender and then is wrapped up. He lost two. And that is Matt Armstrong. The Warhawks now take over at about their 25-yard line. Merville, the carry, and he has nowhere to go. There's another loss at three. Kalispell stays with the split backfield look, and they pick up the blitz. Reddick airs it out again downfield, and it's nearly picked off. He wanted Sherrod Edwards. Third and long again for Kalispell as the defense is spread out. Reddick fires and is intercepted. 
Barrett inside the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 10 yard line. I think Reddick was anticipating Chambers finding some space between the corner and the safety, and there was none. 21-17, Nunez wrapped up, lost the football! UCLA is going to keep it. Very close play. We're asking a lot of this defense, as we have all season. Third and 16, Eric West on the edge, runs out of space, so they can't go up two scores. UCLA, back up seven, and back in the game at quarterback now, Luke Irvin. And he hands this, Jim Jackson picks up eight yards. But last week we saw Irvin exit as Matt Reddick helps Lee to come back. And now Irvin's back in. Kalispell trails and he airs it out for Sharon Edwards. He makes the catch. That's the big pickup. Biggest pass play all day for Kalispell. They're in field goal range, but that won't do them much good. They've got to find the end zone. Irvin drifting back, throws under pressure, and finds Edwards again. Perfect touch throw. Red zone trip now, just like that. Two tight ends in the game. Now Irvin's going to keep it on the option, and he's wrapped up after a short pickup. Chambers and Lindsey, the two receivers, on second down. Irvin runs out of time, lost the ball, and here's Eric Richards trying to recover and that saved maybe seven yards or so, bringing up third down. Chambers motions left to right. Third and seven, here's Luke Irvin. Pressure again, fires for Maddox, and it's short loose. Fourth down. Kalispell needs the conversion, four receivers on the field. Irvin, pressure picked up, gets it away, it's caught! Derek Jackson, goal to go, the drive continues. Two tight ends for the Warhawks. They run this one, Jackson's in, touchdown! And that should tie the game. Luke Irvin enters, makes a couple really big throws. And another one on fourth down as well. We're tied at 24, it's anyone's ball game here. Three minutes left to go. Here goes Nunez, and he's wrapped up. That is Allen Johnson. Loss of five. We've seen big play out of this defense all half. Now the screen set up, and that's dropped. Big missed opportunity. Third and long. Kalispell with two deep safeties. They only bring three. Nunez does complete to West, and he doesn't get the room. He gets three yards, and that's it. Timeout. Warhawks, as Leon Daniels regroups the offense. Can they break this tie? Here's Jim Jackson with a cut. He picks up five yards. Kalispell needs about 20 yards or so to get in field goal range. Irvin to the air, a minute 36 left. Irvin down the middle, it's Maddox! There's the big connection, they're well within field goal range now. Luke Irvin came in, and with this throw and the pass to Edwards, the big corner route, we've seen Kalispell wanted to get their passes downfield. That's where Irvin has been at his best. Three yards now on the carry. Kalispell trying to set this up. Merville inside, centers it, and that is going to be the last play we run. But UCLA... They're going to use all three of their timeouts as they try to ice Brandon Hammond. This is it for the win. 33 yards centered between the hashes. Hammond's kick is up, and it is good! Kalispell wins again! They only led as time expired. 27-24. Another close one-score game, and Kalispell just finds a way. This season is running out of ways to surprise me. We already saw a 24-point comeback last week, so this one, not quite as impressive, I guess, but we get it done. Luke Irvin comes back in, and he throws for 82 yards on six attempts. The option and the running game did not do as much as I thought they would in this game. And 
I felt like we had to get something big in the passing game, and Reddick's arm strength is decent, but Irvin has pretty good arm strength, and we can make some of those high difficulty throws with him. And that goes back to what I thought this offense could be, which is an offense that runs the football and then takes their shots. It's just been so tough for me to find the comfort zone in this offense, especially seeing all these corners just erase so many plays. But that's our last game before we meet Stanford again. It's been a couple long years of waiting for this matchup. They are 8-3, we are 7-4. And, and I know this season has not been what any of us expected, but how sweet would it be to beat Stanford finally in a season like this? They had national title aspirations, but they've lost their last two games in close fashion. I would like to make that three in a row. We don't know a lot about this Stanford team. The roster has definitely changed a lot in recent years. They seem to have some really good players on offense, though. I feel like at running back and receiver, they're going to be one of our toughest matchups. Kevin Rosario, we don't know much about him, but he's a senior now, and he's a 97 overall. Darius Morris at running back, 222 pounds with power and speed. I know it's not going to be easy, and we've always come out flat against Stanford in the past. And I'm paying more attention now to the corners on our opponent's teams. Their awareness ratings usually are lower with the coverage rating super high. I'm trying to see if the slider I have is balanced enough because those high coverage ratings are supposed to be really good. And we've seen that this year and last year. But last year we could pass the ball a lot better. Sherrod Edwards had a monster season. So I'm not making any slider changes now until the end of the year. But it's just something I'm paying attention to. But like I said, we've come out flat against Stanford. How do we change that? Well, I think we're going to go back to Luke Irvin. I think what he does, allowing us to stretch the field, is just too valuable. And I think Drake Maddox is a very important player to getting the defense to respect the seam as well as the outside. And we got to try to find some ways to get downfield because that's where we seem to be at our best throwing the football. And then we got to run the ball. And I think that, you know, Redick and the option, that can be good at times. But against certain defenses, it's just not going to be the solution. I will do everything I can to see that we get this win. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And our big matchup against Stanford is coming your way next. Have a great day, everybody.